It's a sad day when you realize your obsidian pit is almost mined out. But now with portal technology, we can create new obsidian. Fresh, clean obsidian that we can mine above ground in safety. So step one on your fabulous plan to make infinite obsidian in one spot that you can easily mine out in the open is to pick some spot on a hillside. And we'll talk about why a hillside later. Um, but just pick a spot and get the coordinates and you're going to want to build a, a portal in the nether. Not here, but in the nether. And that'll be our next step. So here I am at the corresponding location in the nether and uh, this is where I'm going to build a portal. And I didn't say, but uh, this project all in all will take 20, uh, 20 obsidian for two portals and uh, plus whatever else you want to toss into it. So anyway, now we're zipping through and what we've done is popped out exactly on our hillside just where I uh, was hoping we'd pop out in fact. Um, so what you want to do next is, let's get a bucket of water, is you want to put out this little portal and one way to do that is to uh, what used to work <laughs> was putting water. Oh yeah, right, right, right. This isn't going to work exactly as expected. So once you've popped out on the hill or wherever, you then can just go and kill the portal. And uh, so you just, you know, can whack at one spot at it. I tried drowning the portal, but uh, it turns out pouring water into the portal hole um, no longer kills the portal. That used to kill portals. But uh, anyway, so you pop it out. And then what you're going to want to do is walk, oh, say, you know, 140 or so um, away from this portal and uh, and build a new portal there. And what that portal is going to do is pop back to the nether portal. Anyway, so um, what I'm going to do now is uh, go to a spot that's about 140 away. You basically want to be uh, greater than 128 and 140 is safe. And uh, anyway, we'll go to that spot and continue construction there. So up on the top of the hill there, that's where I've decided that's where I want the obsidian pile to appear. And uh, so what I've done is I've gone um, about 140 north of there, and this is where I'm going to build a portal back into the nether. So once you have your portal all set up, you can go on through it, and it'll take you back to your hilltop portal uh, in the nether, of course. So here I am back at the hilltop portal in the nether, and then I go through again. And behold, I've just created yet another portal in about the same spot. And uh, so what I can do is destroy this one again and go on down the hill and go back through my portal again and, you know, go through that bottom portal. Uh, do that twice and I'll pop back up here and get yet more obsidian to mine. So what I've done in the meantime, by the way, is uh, set up a, uh, a little minecart run back down because it's just faster. So that's about it. The uh, that's the basic idea. Um, you know what, what you can do is just you know constantly do this loop, and you'll be able to uh, make as much obsidian as you want in that one spot. Um, I should mention that you have to kind of have these portals all kind of a ways from all the other portals uh, in your world because they get confused. For example, here what I've done is I've basically made this portal two levels. Like if I actually go in on the on the lower level, uh, ooh, I bet I'm going to crash. Yeah, <laughs> back in a second. So yeah, one other thing about going through these portals all the time is that uh, you indeed uh, tend to run out of memory and it tends to crash. Anyway, I started again was at this portal. I go through it again, my hilltop portal, and it should create another pile of obsidian up there on top of the hill. And indeed that's the case. Here's my uh, third level of obsidian, third pile. And so just to conclude, I thought I'd show you uh, what things look like after doing this a number of times. Looks kind of like this. So I got a number of portals here and obsidian ready to harvest. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.